Hello, my name is Alexander Waldron. Welcome back to a special presentation by the VBC. And in today's episode, I go into the deep details of the textile industry, which I have a magistry in, from the Hotsfield of Stanfield. We will be traveling to America to work with a worldwide global icon. His name, Kanye West, is a Hollywood mogul and a fashion icon. We will go fly to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we'll go one in one with Kanye. Now shopping with a superstar like Kanye West, as each store we go into, many fans start to accumulate. Over 17,000 people flocked into the Caesars Palace of Las Vegas, Nevada, and followed Kanye and I as we went on a special mission looking at art and fashion. We checked out a Warhol collection that hasn't been seen in over 25 years. On a special accusation date at the world's best museum of fine art that is available for purchase, which is located in the Caesars Palace form shops of Las Vegas. The world's best when it comes to high-end fashion and retail all under one roof, but the roof looks like a sky of elegance. Walking with Kanye into Philip Klein, as the fans accumulate, Kanye and I look through threads. As we look through the threads, we notice the crocodile was all made from one crocodile, which we noticed was from one pallet. Crocodile, double X. Okay, let's do a thread of faulty. Reused piece of croc. So it's tailored from one panel. So it's not, it could not be. Thread count six. And also, as you see here, if you look at the holes here, you'd, you'd catch it here because it's on oh, a thread count. It's, on a, th way. it's on a thread count. So this means it came from one pallet. The employee lets us know that it was just a runway item. You have to show what he likes. He likes to see what he's shopping, what he was buying, what it is. So focus on details. Focus on the detail when he put his on, when he put it on, how it looks, how's the fit, what is it? You got to see it. When he put it on, that's, what this, that's the point of what was it? How it looked when, it's, when the sleeves buckle, how it fall over the shoulder. Like Python? He's going to be Python. The easiest is just to go quickly. I'm not going to open the door and go back up. Back all the way up. We're gonna do this, we're gonna be going this way. Okay, Melanie? Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. We walk into Fendi, where Kanye and I look through the threads and look through the staples of what makes Fendi such an elegant and world-class company. Men's lineup. Cashmere, maybe. Cardigan with a fall. 32 stitch count. So Mr. Weston, he's doing this, he's looking to see what was the, the price of what they're doing for MSRP. Then he looks at what's the thread count. And then you could tell what the designer was thinking for, what they would do for uh, quality of sales. So if you look at here, the detail that Fendi does as well. As you see with the magnetic strips in here with the cotton pad, which was done right here, as you see, stitched in, which is all about more to detail, which is what differentiates them from the rest, as you've seen today. Okay, thank you guys so much. Okay. He'll show it, he'll do it for you, fantastic. The staff at Fendi did a wonderful job. The manager reached out to ask and see if the Fendi's executive team staff could take a picture with Mr. West. Can't we take a team picture, like Fendi with him? Fendi. I just want to ask him that's okay. Mr. West asked me in a whisper if the picture could be set up perfectly and if I can use my degree from acknowledgations to make the perfect chemistry of a photograph. All right, so team members, I'll set up the photo how it should be. So if you're gonna do a photograph, it has to be correct. If you guys could come around the table, this here, like this. Mr. West, have you there? 
and then the associates. So you probably want to do by height whoever's the tallest one into the middle. Mr. Wes. Okay. Gentle, if you could please come in the middle. All right. Yes, maybe you straighten out your ponytails, make it like it's even as them, but keep it hanging, I'll everybody hang it over the same. One, two. The Fendi crew, they were all about that groove photo, feeling the vibe. They just have to be perfect photos in case you release it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, to the art gallery. Yo, it's your boy Kanye, also known as Ye. The scene was wild at Caesars Palace, part fashion revolution. Versace was a letdown. They couldn't even keep up with the vision, man. So, Mr. West is looking for fashion. He doesn't just look for anything. He's looking for the threads. He's looking for the cut and sew. Uh, also, I noticed working with him on to his side, and what all you guys will be able to notice working for him as well is, it's all about quality. It's about who was the designer, how many cylinders, what was the proposal when it came into Atra? Or if, like if it was a Dartiana, or maybe somebody head up at Versace, maybe come and approve the final, final design. So that's how they do the seasons. So he'll look and see who's the designer, what does they influence them? You know, some in the culture would say is the drip. Where are they from? What got them into fashion? That's how you know if it's true fashion, the, the, exactly what they sell MSRP for. So he looks at what could be the ingredient. A, a great formula to cooking textiles uh, is very, very, very important to know. Mr. West, I do say that it's a lovely trench coat, but if you do look at it closer, let's see if I have a little bit more information about it. And this kid's knowledge about fabric and thread count was crazy. He was all smart at every high-end employee in sight. Yeah, so he'd like to know about this coat. Let me see this coat. Figure out who's the designer of this coat and how many text threads and if they is Asian. Sorry. If this is made by an Asian, just as simple as that. Oh, well, we don't know that. It's from... Oh, you don't know the... Yeah, yeah, but you don't know what, there's 22 designers at, at right now. It's Donatella, well, it's Donatella herself wouldn't be, she has a team of six. This is our men's collection for Yes, yes, yes. But do you know who made it? So we know that? No. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. So some, some uh, sellers may not have that information because it gets lost in the chain from, you know, up to down, right? And the average customer wouldn't ask these questions as well. Right. So they would call this a 72 thread count. So when you look at it like that, that's 72 thread count. They try to do it different with the pocket, so it goes uh, 170 to 80 to 170, which is a 72. So that's how you notice about the three. So this is usually done by, you know, Oriental. And if you look closely, the Oriental design as well is throughout it. You can tell that where they're getting a lot of their inspiration for this. As you see, this is straight from factory. They actually have loose thread. He's showing me the thread is loose. So this is probably like a $2 shirt. I hope you're enjoying our presentation here on the BBC of Shopping with Kanye West. On today's episode in the United States of America at Caesars Palace of Las Vegas at the extraordinary Bomb Shops, Kanye and I have looked through the latest threads and used my knowledge in the fashion world with mixed with his textile degree to see what is the latest in trends and also what is missing with the latest in trends. Walking into Balenciaga, Mr. West wanted to see the latest in the footwear, the 2023 Falls Men Collection, and also the glasses with the, that you can light up with a press of a button. When I asked Kanye what he's looking for when it comes to fashion, he says, it's the future, it's trends. I look at what's now and what's missing. So that's what he's looking, is what is a missing file. It's like a computer folder. You can see the folder, but it may be missing a file. How many cylinders is in the shoe? How many cylinders he wants to know? Can you can you see? Ask your, ask the designer how many cylinders he used. It's it's it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Look, it's the it's the the ponographs. You see on the ponographs on them. You see, look on this orange pair. And then batteries that. No, go put a battery in. Yeah. Can you give me the design of this one? Two stories. Two stories. MK. MK. Oh, 
Fox Gallery. Get back. Follow me, cause I follow me, cause I don't know where I'm going. Back up. Watch it. Who's up? Back up. Some generous soul tried to get her some custom Tiffany kicks, but the crowd was too hype. She just got swallowed up. Someone wants to buy a custom shoe at Tiffany's. Okay, let's go to Tiffany's. Hold on. He'll be back out. All right. Yes. Would you like to? Would you like to come into the back? No. We'd like to see some artwork. Okay, right back this way. To all this chaos, we kept the artistic spirit alive from Warhols to Basquiat's. Everything played a part in the spectacle. I hope you enjoy this. Hello, I'm a big fan. Fantastic. Let me show you some so you're in here at the perfect time? Appreciate it. But look at this. This is a chronograph, so this must be like about $300,000. Yes, I think it's about $300,000. How much do you have with us? 200, 300, 400, 5. We might have about 600 left. Oh, yes, yeah, Marakami. Marakami painted his whole living room. All the pieces in here, this is all one of a kind. And, and, and this is the main acquisitions for the year that they're going to try to sell. So basically, this is their focus line. This is the new showroom. So these are the original oil stick and acrylic acetate. Skull and Bones, 1836. One of a kind. This one's Skull and Bones, 1836. How much, are, how much are these ones going for right here? The whole set goes for 1.95 million. 1.95 million. And what about in cash? Would it be is any difference? You'd probably get it to about 1.7. We can be fooled by some, but cannot be fooled by all. When it comes to art and fashion, Mr. West has a genius of them all. Alexander Waldron, thank you for watching. BBC.